if you are not an XRP bull at these price levels, you really need to reconsider your thoughts. And these charts, along with the indicators and analysis, may persuade you to reschedule your timeline for XRP and make you a buyer who has clear decisions based on calculated guess from price fluctuation history. If you see value in the video, please do hit the like, subscribe and the bell notification icon to get notified about the future videos. Welcome to the Scientific Investor channel where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly. This is a 60 minute chart of XRP and it shows a breakout to the upside which is bullish and the target for this one is here near 0.22 now yes we can consider say we'll achieve 80 percentage of that say around 0.2 now this one is a daily chart of xrp and the green line that is 200 day moving average now this is actually uh, to measure the drop of the price below the 200 day moving average and it's bounced back now, if you look at here that's the first time when it dropped, it dropped to a 62 percentage and after that it bounced 167 percentage. Now if you see the next time it dropped 38 percentage and bounced back 61 percentage. So if you see here in the recent price action, it dropped around 40 percentage and bounced back around 90 percentage. As of now, we are kind of around 30 percentage down from the 200 day moving average so say we can expect a price bounce around 50 to 55 or 60 65 percentage now with that in mind you have to understand this this is a, you know the previous scenario like this is the same measure during 2016 2017 not now mm -hmm. so you can actually see similar price movements whenever the price dropped 20 to 30 percentage below the 200 day moving average you can see that it actually bounced back up like the same situation now in this chart it's a daily chart of xrp and you can see the arrow shows the price came below the moving average zone then it actually went back into the moving average range and retested that area and it failed to go above and it actually came back down but when it came back down it actually made lower low in the price but the rsi at the same time was showing a divergence there and that ended up in a huge bull run now this is 2020 not 2016 huh? and you can see a similar price movement and the divergence in this daily chart mm -hmm. and when you actually move into a three-day chart you get a bit more clear perspective the divergence here in the rsi is crystal clear because if you look at here it was kind of uh, horizontal it was not actually yeah the divergence is still present there but the price movement of the rsi was not to the upside whereas here you get a trend line support moving to the upside now this is a three-day chart of xrp and here we are actually comparing the rsi and the price drop and the bounce back so if you actually notice whenever the price actually dropped like this from the 200 day moving average now yes the 200 day moving average is only present till here so i assume it will be somewhere here at the same time you can actually see that the rsi is around the oversold positions whenever it dropped like that and as of now we actually did something like that right now we are actually comparing the 2016 and you can actually see that whenever the price dipped like that from the 200 day moving average and the rsi made lows or over sold area after which there was huge bumps in 2016 2017 cycle and now again you know it is showing clear similarities in the 2020 cycle so if we bounce back 65 percentage from the bottom of the wick which we made here mm -hmm, we may reach around 0.33 now if you actually zoom into the rsi on a three-day chart we can actually see that the trend is it is actually following the trend line support here if you look at the bottom because previously it was kind of horizontal mm -hmm. then we had a movement like this the trend line support was supporting here and it just went below that it broke below here and it was getting supported like this in a channel movement similar to that of the price but here now we are starting something new so hopefully this will be a movement to the upside and this one 
is the chart pattern showing you 2019-2020 cycle and this one is showing you 2016-2017. Now you can actually notice the trend and the pattern which are being followed in both the cycles and you know both of them looks really same. They were actually being supported long in the trend line uh -huh. and then like if you see here you can actually notice that the price was being supported along this trend line once it broke it was then traveling in a downward channel so the same or the similar thing can be seen here in this as well now when you actually see those the confusion for me comes around here like whether we in this cycle we still have a chance to come down and retest point one like it looks like a possibility but still it's you know making confusion in uh, for at least for me because uh, now when you actually look at this say this is a four hour chart of xrp and as of now we just got a 11 percentage pump and the 50 and 100 day moving average is crossing to the upside which is actually a positive sign but if you actually see here the last time when that happened the price actually dropped around three percentage mm -hmm. after which yes it moved to the upside but here you can actually see that when this is actually crossing it actually went to the upside so usually this happens like say for example if it is to go upside it come it will drop a bit and then move to the upside so if it is the opposite say for example we just bounce to the upside here then the possibility is that it may come down now you know this is crypto market right it can be changed or the price can actually move directly to around point two as we noticed previously around the trend line uh, resistance here and then move back below the aim of these chart analysis and the indicators and going through this discussion is that you should be able to understand what the chart is actually sto showing you because the story if you can read that through the charts then you can actually position your portfolio in such a manner that your risk is so low if you see value in the video please do hit the like subscribe and the bell notification icon to get notified about the future videos help the channel grow reach out to more of our community members